What's up guys, I'm Detective from Noxy Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a hammer build without the catalyst but it still hits hard and hits real fast. So let's just try this build out on this Thunder Deep Thrust right here, one of the behemoths I hate the most because of its unpredictable attack. So let's just start this battle with a special. I know it's not either charge, it will give you slightly less boost to damage but still it works real well. So let's force our Aether charge here, yep we got hit, that's to be expected. Let's evade through this one and with the little boost we have, we should be able to stagger the behemoth faster. That is what I hate from Tunnel Deep Drusk. You evade the head, the tail hits you. Alright, that goes to stagger. Our special is still active so we're not going to use the special just yet. So let's just prime our attacks and make those shock waves. Okay, let's land another one. It's half HP. Let's evade through this one. Okay, get a few hits in and make sure to evade this one too because it will kill you most of the times. Let's heal, cast the special because oh, we run off special. Dash in. Oops, that's a critical. Alright, let's keep hitting it. Okay. Yeah, I successfully evaded through that one, thank god. Okay. Alright, I hate that. See? Evaded the head, the tail hits. Alright, now the body hits. I hate this guy. Okay, this should be easy to evade. And yes, let's keep hitting. Oh, thanks for standing still. And it's dead. As you can see, I can kill this one fairly fast. This is without catalyst, by the way. Yeah, I got hit pretty uh, some of the times too. But I guess that's fine. So I will show you the build after I take this this sip of air fans. Okay. All right. So here's the build, guys. So here is the hammer version of the non-catalyst build, and obviously there's no catalyst. The only source of attack save for this build right here is the Tempest, which gives you 10%, the Efficient Fury for 15%, Molten for 15%, and Assassin's Frenzy for 15%. I know, it's 55%, you're wasting 5% attack speed right here, but as you can see, the Efficient Fury, Molten, and Assassin's Frenzy, these three has a cooldown, okay? So they will not give you 100% attack speed uptime, Maybe you will evade Behemoth attack most of the times, but maybe you will not pick the orb up most of the times. You will not break the part most of the times, and this might be able to support each other to give you around 30% attack speed boost for almost whole battle. Although if you feel like, I don't really need this. Evasive Fury doesn't feel good to me. All I need is Molten, Tempest, and Assassin's Frenzy. That's enough. Okay, that's fine. You can always switch the helmet into something I recommend, and that is the this bro of ice from Pangar. Knockout King is really good combines with overpower and fit in the Berserker so that you can get plus 6 Berserker and that really gives that really helps a lot with damage. Okay, that is if you don't want attack speed, but for me attack speed is really important. So I'll keep the evasive fury. I'm going to explain it one more time. If you don't want the space fury, that's fine. You can always switch the helmet into this Pangar's helmet right here, Knockout King, and then fit in the Berserker cell. That will help a lot with damage. Okay, and cunning here and pulse for your criticals. The overpower because this hammer right here is the best staggering weapon in the game. Um, not really the best, but it's really good at staggering. It hits real hard to the head and overpower really works well. Berserker right here for extra damage and as I have said before, I'm going. that's a perk summary. Here's the build. You can always switch to Pangar's Helmet, fit in Berserker, but for me, I will stick with this Fiery Helmet with Evasive Fury. And here's Time Wave with Berserker, another Time Wave with Pearls, and here's Strux with Cunning. Here is the Lantern with Pangar Shrine because you can knock down the behemoths pretty fast so that they get slowed down, you can utilize your overpower more. Although if you don't want Pangar Shrine, that's fine, you can always switch to anything else you want. Fit in the Molten Cell, as for the Omni Cell, I would really prefer using the Tempest for a non-catalyst build for Astral Attack Speed. Also, if you don't want to use Tempest, that's fine. You can always just do Iceborne or maybe Discipline for more damage. And here's the weapon with Pulse and Molten. Mighty Line Breaker is the key and maybe the best special for Hammer. I don't think the Conquest is Salvo or the Iron Heart Line Breaker will do anything better than the Mighty Line Breaker. And it's Standard Clip. This one is good just to be able to do more shockwave and prime your attacks and still do a lot of shockwaves. Although if you don't want, don't, don't want or don't have the extended clip, that's fine. You can always switch to the weighted crown so that you can stagger easier. So that's the build, guys. So let's continue our battle to... I guess this headlion would be a perfect target for the hammer. 
since we have molten as well which makes half the attacks from the hellion would be like useless all right so let's just try this out on the hellion let's start our battle of course with our special to give us a big boost to damage oh i hit so damn slow all right that's fine if it through this one we got the molten so that's 15 percent that should be almost enough i didn't hear them god all right should be easy to evade let's dash in all right just take it slow no need to rush your attacks all right evade when necessary no need to complete a combos if you cannot all right here's the chance to get the extra charge slam if you evade through the tail once it's not going to hit the second time that's a stagger let's dash to the head so that we can get the Aether Slams through the body Alright Easy Take the Molten so that you don't get burnt And the special runs out so we cast the special Uh, okay This should be some free hits to the head because we cannot get burnt Thank god the part breaks Let's dash back to the head so that we can get the Aether Slams through the body again It got slowed down From the Punger's Lantern We break another leg Okay, let's hit it. Oh, no, I miss again. Well, that's fine. It's dead Okay, get our enter charge ammo and yep as you can see even the hellion don't last long. Oh, no, I'm stuck All right, so it's one more battle. I don't really want to fight two of this Uh, umbro behemoth with an umbro weapon So I hope the next behemoth that comes out is not the one that I have fought before Let's see. Yep. I'd rather go to that one Okay, so it's a Tempest something, Stormclaw, Tempestborn? Maybe that. Okay, so let's just go to this one. Should be an easy target too. Maybe not because we are pretty slow, but I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, it's Tempestborn. So let's cast our special for the damage. Let's get a few hits in. Okay, evade through attacks. No need to be greedy. Let's just keep hitting it, get those staggers in. Once the behemoth is staggered, it should be pretty easy to deal with. Okay, keep hitting it. Okay, no need to add a slam. The add a slam will have cost you some HP. So just take it slow. No need to rush your attacks. Alright, should be staggered. Yep, that's a stagger. We use the special to increase our damage output. Prime attacks and kaboom. That's the part break. Let's keep hitting it. Kaboom. Should be enraged. No need to force the attacks. Let's just keep hitting it. Oh, it's almost dead. There we go. Should be the last hit. Okay, there we go. As you can see, even Tempest Born Stormclaw cannot do anything. I don't think it even moves from that certain spot. But I'm kind of thankful that it does not use any movements that uh, dashing out of the battle zone. But yeah, that's fine. So as you can see in the two battles I did on the last two battles, Hellion on Stormclaw, you need to be extra careful to what you do. And uh, yeah, no need to be greedy. If you cannot complete a combo, that's fine. Just let it be complete the combo once you have the chance to do so all right so that's for the video i hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like subscribe it's free and you can always unsubscribe thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video